Good morning, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be adjusting the valves on an L134. Um, it's easier with the fenders off and the manifolds off. Um, I'm to that point and doing some other work, so I thought it'd be a good time to do that. Um, you can do it with the vehicle together, it's just harder to see, basically. So you'll need a feeler gauge. Um, on the cylinder head on this engine, it says 14 thousandths for intake and exhaust. Um, but most people, if you read online now, are just doing 16 thousandths for both. So that's what we're going to do. Um, you'll need two half inch wrenches. In this case, I have a half inch and a 13 millimeter. And I'm actually going to split the difference. I don't know if you can see that and go with the 15 thousandths feeler gauge. So we're going to use what's called the Magic 9 method. It works great for inline four cylinders that have two valves per cylinder. So I'm going to use an inch and three eighths uh, ratchet on the front crank nut. And I didn't pull the spark plugs. This engine turns over easy. Um, I'm watching the lifters for when one starts to rise. You don't need to know top dead center or anything else to use this method. So I'm watching this lifter right here is going up. When it stops going up, that's when we're going to count go slow because it's only it only stops for a very brief time as soon as it stops moving which it just did that means it's at the top of its stroke so now using the magic nine method we're going to subtract this number from nine so from the front we have one two three four so we start at nine and go eight seven six five so that means number five valve should be at the bottom of its stroke so eight seven, six, five. You can uh, tell by if this ticks when I pull up and down, that means it's at the bottom of its stroke. So that's all you have to do. Watch for a lifter to go up. When you do that, count that number down from nine and that's the valve you're gonna adjust. So number five, so we're counting, remember one, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna slip your feeler gauge in between the top of the lifter and the valve. That's a little tight. So now you just take your two half inch wrenches. There's no lock nut. These are just a friction fit. So they don't wiggle as the engine runs. And since this is tight, we're going to tighten that nut down. And that should make a bigger space for our feeler gauge to slide in. Okay, so when you stick these in there, you can adjust it with it in there. Just don't, uh, you don't wanna lift the valve and crush the feeler gauge. Should be a friction fit. Shouldn't crush it, but it also shouldn't just slide right in too easily. So that's a little bit loose. So now we're gonna raise that top nut on the lifter by loosening it. It's a fine thread, so there's pretty good adjustment. Now it's a little tight, so we gotta go kind of in between those, just to like a teeny bit of a turn right there so it doesn't fall in there's a little bit of friction and it doesn't fall back out so that's 15 thousandths so now we would just crank the engine again the next lifter that reaches the top of the stroke start at nine and subtract that number down take a piece of paper one through eight and just mark off each number as you do it and that's it when you're done put your cover back on and you'll be good to go